This ain't New York no more. This is West Palm Beach. Yo, bro, I was like, what the f? In my head, I'm saying, yo, I I'm gonna get killed over here. You know what I mean? They're gonna jump me. I don't know where this one Dominican that was out there. He was doing his thing, hard body karate. You know, you know what I'm talking about, hard body karate, doing whatever he did out there in the town. You know what? Trust your instincts. You know, everything ain't, ain't always what it seems. You know, us New Yorkers, when we go out of town, bro, they hate us all the way, everywhere we go to. Like, let's say, I'm gonna give you an example, Florida. They say, come on vacation, leave on probation, come back on a violation. And this is what it is. Boom, I, like, I'm gonna just give you a prime example, I'm gonna go on from there. I go on vacation with wifey, whatever the case may be. As soon as you get into an argument over there, just an argument is considered domestic violence. Police come up to you and they be like, yo, who's going to jail? I'm like, what you mean? They be like, nah, you know, we got to call it domestic violence. I'm like, yo, what you mean? We just had a little discrepancy. Nah, this is what it is over here. You know, uh, if you have an argument, it's called domestic violence. So automatically, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the man. I'm be like, yo, take me to jail. I ain't going to have to go to jail, you know what I mean? Boom, I ended up, uh, um, it was in Orlando, so it was all, uh, what is it, what is my piece? It's an uh, Ormish County Jail, Ormish County Jail in Orlando, Florida, it's called Ormish County Jail. Once we get in there, they treat you like fucking savages, you know what I mean? First of all, you sleep with the night, day long. You said Second what, of the, all, the phone had, the, your phone had broke up for a second, you said you sleep with what? You sleep with the light on all night long. The light stays on your ass I, all I, night I, long. I, I couldn't take that. I would pop off. They had to send me to the box. And the boxes, the light is on in the fucking box all day long, too? All day long, too. I can't, all I day can't long. do it, bro. I wouldn't be able to make it with that nah, light. That should have drive me crazy. Hell, motherfucking yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, yo. And then second of all, they have you, you know how to... How we have the Rikers Island jumpsuit that we have the jumpsuit with the well, bell cloth. That, mm -hmm. Well, they have you with the bell cloth. That's your clothes. Your bell cloth, a t shirt, your underwears, and a pair of claws. You wear claws all day, every day long. And not only that, they motherfuckers on. They have you freezing cold, bro. It's like, like crawfish. You know how they have crawfish freezing so the crawfish don't move? So. Like in jail, their mentality is if they keep you freezing, you're so cold, you don't even want to make a move. So you don't even get agitated. All you got to do is, you know what I mean? In jail, you got to try to keep as warm as possible. So you got to stay as comfortable as possible. And, and, you know what I mean? Just keep your body heat. And, you know what I mean? It's, so what, it's so what they, just, they just be having the AC on blast all day long? All day, night long. That shit is freezing, frigid cold, my G. And Florida is a different fucking story, bro. Let me tell you something. Over there in Florida, police don't even like New York as much. It was like one time I, boom, I, I ended up, while I was in there in, in the Ormish County Jail, they charged you, they charged you, the inmate, for you being locked up in there. You get charged $3.56 a day to be locked up in there. That means you got to pay them $3.56 a day. In other counties like Bower County, which is, uh, uh, for Lauderdale, shit like that, the price changes. You know what I mean? And, and Miami is more lenient. Let's say Miami's like the Bronx and Brooklyn. If you get caught in Miami, they're more lenient with the law. But if you get caught in Broward County, which is for Lauderdale, or if you get caught in Orlando, it's like Manhattan or Queens. You feel me? Let's say you got commissary coming in. Yo, bro, what was that like? Let's just say four dollars times. Let's say ten. Four dollars times ten. Forty dollars. So let's just say fucking forty dollars times ten. Forty days. It's like fucking. It's retarded money. They're like as soon as you get your money, they subtract that money away from it. So the only way you can order commissary is through. Let's say your 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 people's got to order your commissary through through mail, not through mail. It's not like like in other words, you got to order through there their website for you to get commissary. You know what I mean? So you gotta get with a cold shit shit or whatever the case may be. And it's their menu. It's not like you can choose your menu but you locked up with it. Um, let's get fast forward to the next part. Um, I ended up getting caught up in um, my man did some stupid shit. We ended up coming out of uh, 
Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood Cabaret, whatever the case may be. I'm, I'm gonna break it down a little story short. My man crashes, whatever the case may be, niggas try to blame me for the crash, whatever. Yeah, my man was so twisted. All right, all right, I'm gonna break it down for Like, you know, over there, like, everything, what, what, what I was going through was some different shit. I could talk about it now because the case is over. If I did my fed time and everything, everybody else did their fed time. I ain't gonna mention no names, whatever the case may be. But like, um, I'm gonna give you an example, like, you always gotta trust your instincts. Always trust your instincts, my man. Even though the next nigga don't feel like you, you that that you, he 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 be saying yo you bugging? Nah, nigga, you not bugging because your instinct kicks in automatically. Like boom, we like all right. Let's say the day before, a, a couple of days before, I'm in public, and I see I see a brand new BMW, and I tell my man, my right hand man, I say yo my man yo yo boom, yo, that shit is nice. So he goes to public meets up with whoever, I, 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 whatever the case may be. So I turn around and I see the dude coming out the BMW. I mean, like, brand new shit. So I turn around, I'm like, yo, papa, that's some new shit, yo. That's some hot shit. But I see him, he's a fat dude. But then I'm bugging out because he's with an ugly chick. I'm like, nah, this can't be. Then I saw this bugging out. I said, yo, let me not jump into conclusion. Probably it's her money, her BMW, and they've been with each other for years. They probably want to lose him. Whatever the case may be, a couple of days later passed by. My man calls me up and he says, yo, I got my little cousin coming through. He's gonna pick you up in the Bentley. Um, show the nigga around town. I'm like, all right, Gucci. So he comes pick me up. I'm like, yo, where you wanna go? He's like, yo, boom, let's go to the strip club. So I'm like, yo, fuck it, let's go to the, uh, the uh, cabaret called Hollywood in, in um, Fort Lauderdale, Broward County. It's called Broward County, it's called Fort Lauderdale. So um, we go there, whatever the case may be. Now we there, we, we flossing the money. The nigga orders a, um, what is it? A, a, a Mo, Moet, Rose, Rose Moet. And I ordered a bottle of Henny. We tossing our money. Remember this, you, you in a cabaret. That's all you do is throw money. So when we look back, son tells me, yo, Blue, look back. So when I look back, I notice the same fat dude with the same ugly chick. And I look back and I'm like, oh shit, I remember them. But now when I notice, them niggas had shot glasses. But the shot glasses had clear. And I fuck out and I tap my man. I said, yo, homie, they're not dancing. They're not moving. They don't even got strippers around them. I said, yo, homie, that's the best on us. He's like, nah, blue, you bugging. You bugging your chills. What the fuck you bugging? I'm like, yo, my nigga, I'm not bugging. Yo, a couple of minutes passed by, we tossed some money. Chuck tells me to look back again. When I look back, yo, there's like four big motherfuckers next to them. And when I look, they all had sock glasses, clear sock glasses with clean drinks in them. At that point, I'm saying in my head, you know, your senses kick in. You know, we all got our spider senses. My shit kicked in on, on speed mode. I turn around, I look back, and I said, yo, homie, that's the best. He's like, what you mean? And I broke it down to him. I said, yo, first of all, they don't got no strippers around them. They got four big niggas around them. And I, said, I broke it down to him. I said, yo, that's team A, team B, and team, team C. He's like, what you mean by team A, B, and C? I said, yo, my nigga, when niggas patrol, nigga, when niggas, niggas is investigating, they're not going to send the same car. People. They're going to send three different cars. So in case you notice know one, like, let's say you go through one street, they're going to send the other car because everybody knows you notice know that car to fuck a nigga's head up. So niggas like, how the fuck you know? Like, how you figure this? I'm like, yo, my nigga, like, it comes, like, in other words, a lot of people are so stupid, they look in the box. They never look outside the box. When you in a criminalized institution wise, you gotta look in their perspective way. That's how a uh, owner of a store catches a criminal, because you gotta think as a criminal as as a well of a store owner. Now if you're a real criminal, you gotta think as a criminal as well as whoever you get in God or whoever you're gonna get got. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever the case may be. So he said, yo, Blue, you bugging out. I said, all right, if I'm bugging out, then watch this. Me, remember me, I look like a white boy. You know what I mean? At that time, I look like a super white boy because I'm doing my jump ball. So I said, yeah, then look at this. So when I turn back around, I get all four of the big motherfuckers, the hardest look ever. And I said, you know what I mean? I, I grew my face 
and I look at all of them up and down. And yo, now, they all four turn their heads to the side. Yo, and I turn around and I shot them. I said, yo, we out of here. He said, what you mean? I said, yo, my G, we out of here. He said, what you mean we out of here? I said, yo, my nigga, if I turn around and look at you with the hardest look, what's the first thing you're gonna do? You're gonna turn around and be like, what the fuck? You looking at white boy? You feel me? And y'all big black motherfucker, you know what I mean? But y'all looking at this white boy like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So when I, I turn around and I did that, I said, yo, those are the feds. He's like, what you mean? I said, yo, my man, they would have popped off on me. They would have hit me with a bottle. They would have threw me shot glasses. They would have ran up on me and they obeyed. So whatever the case may be, we jump in the car. Not, not even. I go towards the car. I'm walking out the club, the Hollywood Cabaret. I'm walking out and uh, he's following us. Now, I mean, my man's cousin, he's following me. As we come out, he try to bring out the big bottle of rosé. So whatever the bounce is, like, yo, you can't come out with it. So, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm talking intellectually towards the bounces. I'm like, listen, uh, unfortunately, you know, it's my birthday. You know, I'm trying to make up an excuse. I'm trying to throw money and, and the dude's hands. And I'm telling my man, I say, yo, listen, man, leave the bottle. We get more bitches. We got the money. We get more bitches. We get whatever. Leave the liquor. We get more liquor. We get more bitches. Leave the liquor. Don't worry about it. Let's just get out of here. Whatever the case may be, the kid ain't want to listen to me. Whatever bounces. Whatever they do, what they do, boom, they took the bottle, whatever the case may be. Now we get in the van and we driving on. As we driving off, I'm noticing my niggas starting losing off. But I'm not noticing. I'm like, yo, this nigga don't go dope. Like, you know what I mean? So I start tapping. I said, yo, homie, you all right? I said, yo, let me drive the car. He's like, nah, 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 I got this. Yo, this nigga dozes off. And I, I, I'm thinking he's playing around, so I'm tapping him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck you doing? Next thing you know, this nigga his car. Boom! When he hits the car, I said, yo, what the fuck? Yo, at this point, this motherfucker backing up the fucking car to go and, and, and leave the scene of the accident. Now, as he's trying to leave the scene of the accident, we t- we heading towards across, across, you know what I mean? Like, when cars are going back and forth on a different direction, but it's a two lane. And I said, oh, hell no, so I put my seatbelt on. But at that time, this nigga ain't give a fuck. Come to find out this motherfucker's on lean. Yo, when we passed through it, the car hit us uh, in a tail spin. We ended up doing a tail spin. They hit the back of the car. We ended up doing a tail spin. Whatever the case may be, we ended up in the side of the highway. And I, 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 I turn around. I get out the car. I'm like, you stupid motherfucker. And I get out the car and I walk across the highway. And I sit down. And I'm like, yo, this stupid motherfucker. This nigga don't even know. You know what I mean? And we, you know what I mean? He's still in the car, still fucking high for whatever the, uh, the lean. So I'm like, you this stupid motherfucker, you know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, cops come. Um, I don't know where they were like, oh, what, what's going on? I'm like, yo, listen, I don't know. They were like, well, anyway, what seems to be, but whatever. Now they asked me, um, who's the one driving? I said, I don't know what you're talking about, man. So I don't know where they come back and they put me in cuffs. But before that, they asked me for my ID. So I give them my ID and I said, officer, you know, if it's a possibility, can I get a ride back to the hotel where I'm staying at? But he's like, not a problem, not a problem. But like I said, I give him an ID. He, he looks at me like my color, my skin. He's like, you know, he thought I was a white boy. You know, I'm, I'm talking intellectually to the officer. Because I said, officer, when this is all, the, you know, when this is all resolved, can I get a ride back to the hotel? He's like, not a problem, sir. You know what I mean? I'm talking all intellectual with him. You know what I mean? You know, I got to play the white boy status. You know what I mean? I'm acting like a white boy. You know what I mean? Because I'm there doing a different thing. So, you know what I mean? Everything's... What we was doing is on Carnito, whatever the case may be. So whatever, I'm talking about it because I already did my time for the case, whatever the case may be. This way, double jeopardy comes in, and if there's there ain't no such thing as double jeopardy, they charge me again for the same case. And I had to do double the time getting in the feds for that shit. Well, anyway, case may be getting to the story. Boom. So now, I don't know where the, the, the officers come up to me, and they were like, you'll place your hand behind your back. I'm like, what you mean? They were like, yeah, we found out you was the one driving. So I said, oh, word, I was driving? So I'm not head, I'm saying, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this nigga and stuff. I'm like, what you mean I was driving? They was like, nah, the dude said that you was driving. Meaning the dude that was driving the car turned around and said, I was driving the car. And I said, oh, in my head, I'm saying, oh, this motherfucker paid him. So I'm saying, yo, when I catch this thing, I'm gonna beat the brakes off him. I don't give a fuck if, if this is my boss's cousin. I'm gonna beat the brakes off him. 
So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm the one driving. Then I right, fuck it, I'm the one driving. Because I'm used to being in jail or whatever the case may be. It's a fucked up life. You know what I mean? That I, you know what I mean? We all, whatever the case may be, it's your own story short. Now, when I'm in cuffs, they come back and they said, oh, remove the cuffs off them. So I turn around, I'm like, what you mean remove the cuffs? They're like, no, witnesses that was driving by said that he was driving the car. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I start laughing. <laughs> so when I start laughing, they were like, what you laughing at? I'm like, I ain't laughing at nothing. Mm-hmm. Couldn't have found out. They turned around and they see the dude that was driving the car running with his handcuffs on. And I'm laughing in my head because I'm like, yo, this nigga is not going to get far. We in the middle of the fucking highway. This nigga's running like a day. They got nothing but helicopters. Yo, they caught him up and yo, they beat the shit out of him. Yo, they beat the shit out of him. Remember, this dude got caught up and I knew the nigga ain't had no license, whatever the case may be. They caught him drunk. They caught him fucking high, whatever the case may be. I know they caught him everything. And they beat the shit out of him. Um, I ended up walking back to the hotel. Room. So when I get back there, you know, whatever the case, boom. The boss comes, knocks on the door, was like, yo, what the fuck happened? No, I call him up and I say, yo, your cousin got locked up, barely got fast. They're like, yo, what the fuck? Then not, you should have drove the car instead of him driving the car. I said, yo, my G, like, you know what I mean? Your cousin, and he was, and, 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 and he, like, he wanted to show off. He wanted to be the man. So, hey, I let him drive the car. Let him do him. So whatever the case may be, I'm like, yo, my man, he locked up, yo, you know his name? Go get him. He was like, all right, cool. He go get some. I'm like, yo, okay, yo, boom. He comes back and I'm like, yo, I got him. I said, yo, what happened? How you got him? They're like, nah, I bailed him out. I'm like, you bailed him out? Like, how the fuck you bailed him out? My nigga, like, we got into two car accidents. You know what I mean? That nigga was drunk. I'm saying, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, how the fuck you got him out? They're like, nah, they just charged him with uh, disorderly conduct. I said, this orderly condom. That's when I said, yo, my man, yo, the feds are watching him. He like, no, man, you bugging out. I'm like, yo, my man, they let him go so they can follow us. When they let him go, they're going to follow him. They're going to follow him to you, and they're going to follow him to you, to me, and everything going to get exposed. Because one thing was, one thing was that that nigga used to go clubbing. I never went clubbing with him because I stood my ground. I already knew my peace. This was my line. You do you, I do me. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, later on, we got caught up. Um, now, I, I'm telling you, like, listen to your instincts. Remember the point that I'm saying, listen to your instincts. Fuck everybody else, listen to your instincts. So now, we in, um, we switch over to, we, we in West Palm Beach. Now, buses, now, we in West Palm Beach. Now, out of nowhere, I already know one of the profiles was burnt. I'm like, yo, homie, I'm not doing this profile. First of all, in that morning, that same morning, I woke up and my stomach was telling me, like, you know how you got your, your gut feeling saying, yo, blue, yo, you know whoever you are, yo, don't go out that day. Shit ain't gonna look right. Not only that, I notice every time it rains, it's like a sign to me. Like, whatever you, I'm about to do something wrong. When it rains, it's like a sign to a nigga. Like, nah, this is not a good day. Yo, I don't know it's raining that day. And I'm like, hmm. So I don't know where he pissed me on. you like, yo, yo, let's get busy. I'm like, yo, my nigga, if anything, fuck this. I'll pay you. My nigga, I'm not going out today. This shit is dead. I'm not doing it. Like, nah, nigga, don't scare money. Don't make no money. I, I, I. Like, trying to put the battery on the nigga's back. I said, you know what? You keep on doing this. Let me show you. Let me show you how fucked up it is right now. I'm going to do one jump off and this what it is. Nah, nah, nah. We're going to be back by the truck. I said, my nigga, let me tell you something. It's not worth it. Then he gives me a profile that we were fucking around with. This shit was already hot. I'm like, oh, this shit is hot. This shit ain't no good. Nah, 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 I changed everything. I said, Papa, you ain't changed nothing, bro. This is already hot. Whatever the case may be, this nigga's all caught up in the live yard, whatever the case may be. Ah, ah, ah. Fuck up to whoever. Ah, ah, ah. To the ah, ah, ah. Yo, bro, instead of sticking to the original plan that we always have, yo, if this happens, you gotta pick up and pick up right away. Nah, this nigga's caught up on his lolly guy, thinking that. Oh, shit ain't gonna happen. Like, he got too cocky for this shit. Nah, it ain't gonna happen. You know, one of those cats. Nah, nah, I'm untouchable type shit. Yo, bro, we get locked up, bro. And no, you know what's fucked up? Like, first two times I got caught up with him. I I ain't say shit. I never said shit. And we got caught up three times. Bro, this nigga let me forget all three times. Even in the fact he let me forget. Still never said shit because this 
this is who I am. I don't say shit because you know what? My mother would have jumped off the grave and beat the shit out of me because that's what came. My moms and our old school generations always told us, never talk shit, you feel me? So whatever the case may be, I ended up at um, West Palm Beach jail. You know what I mean? Same scenario, in the jail, they charge you three or four dollars per day every time you lock up, every day they charge you. Now, in there, it's totally different. It's a totally different ball game. New York is, oh no, 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 let me go back. Let me rewind. Before, I, when they released the cuffs off of me, before I got back to the hotel, remember, before I got back to the hotel, I said to the police, when he giving me back my ID, I said, officer, you're gonna give me a ride back to the hotel? He said, nah, he, you know what he said to me? He said, we don't like your kind here. I said, what? So I look at my skin ticket. You know, I'm playing the white boy role. I'm like, what do you mean, officer? So I'm looking at my skin, looking at his skin. He's like, yeah, we don't like your kind here. I said, what? So when he had me back my ID, I said, oh, this nigga don't like New Yorkers. Bro, automatically that uh, that shows a whole different ball. They kept on harassing me. Yo, who's, who you fucking with? I, 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 who you fucking with? And I say shit, yo. For me not saying nothing, they threw me in an isolated, um, like, it's like a, it's like, it's like, all right, you, you go in there and it's like six to eight different parts in there, but it's like, a, a, all right, a holding cell. You know how we have it, it right is out of the holding cell, but not in each holding cell, they have you with, with a regular door. Instead of a regular slamming door with the bars, now they have you with a regular door. And then there, they have you butt naked and they give you a thin fucking, like a, 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 a cloth type shit. You know how they put the um, hospital gown on you that is clear and uh, not clear, but it's very thin? Well, they had us in that, but you freezing butt cold with no fucking matches and they have you sleeping on the cold. Yo, bro, they had me there for three days until my lawyer came downstairs and they recognized, yo, listen, why you got him in there? I, 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 whatever. Now they got me out of there. Now they sending me the population. Now, while I'm in population, shit is totally different. Out of nowhere, I'm sending letters to uh, to lawyers in New York. I'm trying to send letters to people in New York. I'm trying to call out to New York. Yo, bro, they was blocking everything because I'm from New York. They was blocking the letters going out to New York, everything. So I ended up having one of the dudes that was locked up in there from West Palm Beach. I ended up getting cool with, with a couple of cats in West Palm Beach. And I ended up getting cool with them and he ended up making a call for me, and that's how I got in contact with my niggas in New York, and everything started rolling. All the, all, all the, um, the wheels started moving in motion. So, with that being said, over here, like Florida, like I said, the COs, they don't like us. People over there, the police, they don't like us. Once they find out we're from New York, it's a wrap, man. We consider like fucking dirt. We're like fucking spick of a span type shit over there. No matter what color you are, no matter what race you are, you consider spick of the span because they don't like New Yorkers, period. In Florida, we like considered the fucking, uh, 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 the Latin motherfuckers over there, you know what I mean? Um, now, you know, me being in there in West Palm Beach, everything's different, you know what I mean? Over there is Zo Power, which is the Haitians, Zo Power, and Latin Kings really have that jail on lockdown over there. There's a little bit of blood, not too many blood, but it's really so power nation. The niggas that control whatever they do, what they do, and you know, everybody knows it's already trying to control about it. It's all power nation, which is the Haitian niggas, and Latin King be doing their thing out there, you know what I mean? So whatever the case may be, I mean, I mean um, they ended up, uh, I mean, um, West Palm Beach, the jail over there, West Palm Beach. Now, I don't know where they end up closing the, um, not the facility, but the jail part where I was at. Now they send us all that to cell parts. So whatever the case may be, the two white seals thinking I'm a white boy, whatever the case may be. So I'm playing that bullshit white boy. They come, they do their cell walk, whatever. So now in there, it's like, not everybody thinks I'm a white boy. I'm staying to myself. I'm trying to keep calm, cool, collective calm. I'm trying to get out of, get out of the situation without anything. You know what I mean? Because in there, they're not, they don't move as fast as New York. You know what I mean? The system doesn't move as fast as New York. So you may have a little bit of time so you can make, get away, whatever the case may be. I'm in the cell part in there in, in uh, West Palm Beach. Now, out of nowhere, um, I know there's this big dude, a uh, uh, Haitian dude. This nigga's a nun. Yo, bro, I'm talking about this motherfucker who's going into people 
while we was having a child, and he was just grabbing niggas' food and eating it. And in my head, I'm saying, yo, I hope this motherfucker don't do that. Yo, 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 yo. He had, like, let's say, main houses, like four main, like back in the days, the four main that was a cell house, and you had the little day room. Yeah. That's where they serve our food at, in the day room. So you said. So that's what we're eating at. In you the said he was just digging it, reaching his hand into people's trays, taking Yo, bro, it. Yo, bro. Literally, that nigga was going into niggas' trays and grabbing his food and just eating it. I'm like, yo, and man, niggas just pushing it. Like, it was a man niggas pushing, but he knew who he, he, he was doing it to. You know what I mean? So I'm saying in my head, I said, yo, I hope this is a little child of play. I never thought that shit happened myself until I seen it. I'm like, yo, this nigga's a bit, yeah, like, he wasn't big, but he was bigger than me, a little stockier than me, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, please, man, I'm saying to my nigga, please, man, don't let this nigga do this to me because I don't want to catch another case, please don't let this shit happen to me. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make it slip through this situation as soon as possible and get back to where I'm going at. Because the main thing I was telling my main nigga, I said, yo, bail me out, and I'll make sure the money keep on coming. I got you, my nigga. But nah, the nigga played himself. The nigga played himself hard body to body. That's why I said you can't trust motherfuckers nowadays, man. Like, you always gotta listen to your instinct. And my stupid ass ain't listen to my instinct. And when it was too late, the other niggas ain't wanna listen to it, and he ain't wanna listen to it. When I should have spirit, when I stupid ass had enough money to go back to New York and fly back. But I'm like, nah, 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 everything gotta be good. Yo, bro, now, the next day, yo, bro, as I'm going in towards my show, you know, we all finishing our child. So as I'm going in, this motherfucker had the nerve to put his feet out, like try to trip a kid. And I said, yo, Sergeant Paul, I said, yo, what the fuck you doing, bro? Like, I had enough. You know what I'm saying? You talking about the same, the same dude that was digging in people's trays? Exactly. Yo, bro, this nigga did the try, try to trip a kid move type shit to me, but as I'm going to my show, so I said, yo, what the fuck you doing? You know what I mean? So he's like, what? What? So I said, what you mean, what? So he's like, come to the back, come to the back. Because you know they got that Asian accent. Like they they, they speak on um, the French shit. Uh, Rama Boudin, what up? Saka Domain. Saka Domain means like hit him, hit a nigga in the back or hit him, snuff him. Saka Domain. I started learning that shit because, yo, bro, I'm, I'm surrounded by Asian, so I got I to gotta adapt to that language now. You know what I mean? So I'm here, I'm here, Saka Domain, Saka Domain. So I'm like, shut the domain. Niggas like, go to the back, go to the back. So we like, all right, fuck it, we're gonna go to the back. Yo, bro, I go to the back. Whatever the case may be, he, he, he wants to fight, you know what I mean? Yo, you like, one thing, I ain't gonna lie, bro, when I lose my fights, I lose my fight. But I always win fights, I lose fights, you know what I mean? But this is what it is. So whatever the case may be, um, he gets me, he, he, he. Uh, uh, me in a, uh, the headlock shit, whatever the case may be, he's choking me out, he got it. So, boom, now we're heading back. No, no, before he gets me in the choco, choco, I hear in the Haitian, all the Haitian people are coming to the back. And they were like, this ain't no, 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 motherfucker, this is what, oh, peace, uh, uh. And I said, what the fuck? I'm saying to my head, I'm gonna get jumped by all these Haitian motherfuckers. Thank God there was this one Dominican dude by the name of Juan. You know what I mean? This nigga named Juan was like, yo, 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 chill, chill, you know what I mean? Like, we start, like, pulling niggas back, yo, yo, chill, like, who do the wrong thing? You said, so you know when you, mean? when you, you, you told about when you, while you was fighting a nigga, all of the Haitian niggas came over yeah, there? Yeah, they were like, yo, this ain't West Palm, no, this ain't New York no more, nigga, this is West Palm Beach. Yo, bro, I was like, what the fuck? In my head, I'm saying, yo, I, I'm gonna get killed over here, you know what I mean? They gonna jump me. I don't know where this, this one Dominican nigga that was out there, he was doing his thing all body karate. You know, you know what I'm talking about, all body karate, doing whatever he did out there in the town, niggas know him. And he stopped niggas out there. He was like, nah, 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 give me the one D. So they respected me because I shot it off for them. Now, whatever the case may be, um, as we going back, she was just coming in to the to the um to the owl, to the owl. You know, we call it an owl, an owl. You know what I mean? Like you walking towards the, the, the tier. So when they're walking in, and you know, they say, yo, you all right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. But they ask me, yo, you should so gotta do, yeah, 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 I'm good. So I don't know, but when we get in, now it's count time. So now when we in count time, the nigga shows off a razor. Before count time happened, I go to the um, house gang nigga. We call him house gang, which is the nigga that train the cell or, or they do suicide, or whatever. And I was cool with, with a couple of them. So I said to do, I said, yo, Papa, yo, I need a, I need a jump off real quick. He's like, yo, what's wrong with you? 
I'm like, yo, and my man, I need something. He's like, yo, yo, serious, man, you can't get into now. Relax, my nigga. I'm like, yo, my nigga, give me something. So I give him all the commissary I had. He gives me a raise. So I'm like, all right, cool. So now I get him up, my, I get the raise up. And now it's count time. So when I go back in my cell, the dude that did that to me was in the cell across from me. So now he's showing off the raise. He's like, yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm get out. I got you. So I said, oh, what? I spit up my brakes, I said, then, it's race time, baby. So when he looked at me, he said, like, his eyes open up. Yo, bro, when the seal just walking by, he tells the seal, yo, 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 he's got to race it, got to... Yo, bro, all the hate seal just started the screaming same, at him. The same big dude? Yeah, the same big dude, because he thought I have a race he thought I was pussy. You understand what I'm saying? But when I showed him, I said, yo, papa, it's race time, and I spit out my brakes, that's when he was like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he got surprised. I spit on my razor because, yo. And you, you said, know, like, you said, like, you said like, he, he, had, he had a razor too? He had a razor. And he showed me off his razor talking about, I got you when we come out. Such a word. I already spit on my razor because, you know, on Rikers Island, it's like, glad he didn't school, my nigga. You know how to spit out razors. You know how to chew the shit. You know how to spit the shit out. Like, you can spit that shit out all the way to, like, an arm lane and still have it in your hand. There. You know what I mean? But to this day, I know how to chew my razors and spit it out. You know what I mean? So whatever the case may be, the nigga does that. And I show him, I said, it's razor time then, you know what I mean? So I show him my razor and I said, yeah, we're trying to come out, it's on. So when he saw that, his eyes open up. Now, when the seal was just walking by, he said, yo, he started snitching on me. Yo, he got a razor, he got a razor, he got a razor. Yo, the seals looked at him and he looked at me. The seals looked at him and saw how big he was. Then he looked at me, he said, are you fucking serious? Are you, you, you bigger than him? Are you fucking shitty? Yo, and all the Haitian niggas started to say, you fucking snitch, you fucking rat, pa 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 like, you know what I mean? They started spitting at him. Yo, you fucking bitch. Yo, you were like, yo, get me out of here, get me Yo, they got him out of the house. Yo, and I go to the child. Now, that was lunch. This is dinner time. So they was still like, like animosity towards me, but it was respect animosity. Like, damn, the nigga made the nigga go out the house, but he kept it funky. And you know what I mean? From that point on, or the or the Asian, they started giving me respect. Like, I do, I respect you. You know what I mean? But it was like out of love, out of respect, love. You know what I mean? Like that. This nigga, he kept the gun in up. He ratted, and he and he kept the gun in. He snitched. He ratted, and he was real G, nigga. You know what I mean? From that point on, the Dominican niggas showed me mad love. And you know when I was in there, nobody was showing me no, no comments. Everybody get in touch with none of my niggas. In the Whatever the case may be, I had a, a chick lawyer, she used to always come in, whatever the case may be. I don't know where it's Easter Sunday or some shit like that, Mother's Day, whatever the case may be. She shows up. And they call my name to go to the um to the visitor room or whatever, not the visitor room, but it's in there. Everything in there is like right there on that same floor where, where your house at. So they call my name and all the Haitian niggas like and I said, Oh shit, I get I'm I'm saying in my head, you're the first guy. I'm saying in my head the first got me. And yo, everybody looked at me, they were like, yo, at that point, like, I had so much love, and I showed so much love in the house, that yo, my nigga, there was every nation niggas, there was the Haitian, there was the uh, 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 Latino niggas, and I had, we was all living at peace, because, uh, you know what I mean? Like, when you're in Rikers Island, and you come up to a different spot, it's like, we know how to regulate, not regulate, but to to determine and to show how everything works. At one point, the phone stopped working because there wasn't no such thing as, we used to have the punch in our numbers over there in Florida. So the phone stopped working, so I don't know what we had to uh, regulate the phone. So you know how it was back in the island, so I, used to, I, I had to tell niggas, yo, listen, yo, what time you got, what time you got, what time you got, this is what we're gonna do, this is how we're gonna flip it. You know what I mean? And everybody loved the way I was showing, like doing, organizing everything in there that nobody had to know shit. And when niggas started coming into the house, I was like, yo, my nigga, we don't accept no defense. We don't accept this, we don't accept that. This the way this shit's gonna be run in this house. We all get it on, and this is what it is. That everybody love me in the house. Like, my, like I said, like, when you put this up there, niggas in Florida is gonna reach out to me. They're gonna reach out to in the, in the comments, and they're gonna be like, oh shit, that nigga blew with the fuck up here, like, two lights, me, nigga. I remember that nigga, that nigga was a real geek. And we talking about Haitian, Joe Power niggas. And, and, and Latin King that I became with, that I, I brought them into the nation back then. Whatever the case may be, long story short, um, coming up to the forward part, now out of nowhere, I'm going in, I'm like, all right, cool, they call me. And I'm like, fuck, I'm saying in my head, yo, I think. So as I'm walking towards the aisle, everybody looking at me like, yo, damn, yo, this is crazy, niggas calling me. 
I'm saying, yo, I think the feds caught up. I think the feds, like, you know what I mean? I think the feds caught up to this shit. So as I walk into the thing, I see my lawyer, she's dressed in casual clothing, and she's like, Mr. Rosario, are you ready to leave? I'm like, what you mean, you ready to leave? She was like, yeah, your, 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 your case, like, they just said, um, because the way they described that case, like, bro, I got my, all my paperwork. I'll show you all my paperwork, bro. Like, this shit is, like, super real. Out of nowhere, the lawyer comes up to me and she says, um, Mr. Rosario, you know, I'm like, yo, what you doing? Is, I think it's Mother's Day or something. Like, aren't you, why are you dressed in casual clothing and why are you smiling? And she's like, you know, and I'm looking around thinking I'm, I'm going to see suits around, you know what I mean? She's like, no, no, you know, and then six months later, and she's like, um, no, Mr. Rosario, they ready to let you go. If anything, you just gotta sign off and say that you can't get caught with a gun for three years. If anything, if somebody around you will get caught with a gun, you gotta end up coming back in, you gotta do your time. I'm like, what time is it? They were like, yo, listen, this what it is. I advise you, sign this and get the fuck out of here. So I'm like, yo, listen, I can't leave right now because I ain't getting contact with nobody in New York. Like, give me time so I can get back on the floor so I can arrange everything because if I go out there in Florida, I don't know, but I don't know nobody in Florida. I'm gonna be stuck in the middle of the woods. And in Florida, let me let you know how grimy they are. They'll let you go in the middle of the fucking light, in the middle of the night in West Bubble Fuck, my G. This is how grimy Florida is. They'll let you go when no buses are running. You know what I mean? Like people like me from out of town, there's no buses running that you can catch a regular bus. My man, that's when a lot of people end up committing crimes just to go back to the destination. So whatever the case may be, I told her I'm not prepared yet to leave. See, like I said, give me a couple of days. She said, all right, no problem. So when we end up going call back a couple of days, they're like, all right, Mr. Rosario, boom, 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 this is what it is. Now she pulls me to the side. She says, I, I think she already knew. She already knew something was going on. She says, what are you planning to do? I said, I'm not planning to live out here because I have nowhere, you know what I mean? I ain't established nothing yet. I'm planning to do, you know, try to live out here, sell you new life, do my AC shit. She's like, do me a favor and get the fuck out of here as soon as you can. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, what do you mean? She says, leave Florida as soon as you can. I'm like, I, like in other words, already, I already know I gotta read it between the lines, get the fuck out of there before they catch up. So I bounced. So now when I get back to New York, all I did was work on, like, underneath the books. I didn't work on the books. I ended up getting caught up by me fucking getting caught with a can of beer in the park. And that's how the feds caught up with me. 